We'll be coming to the Euros and Ireland will just be going back home. It's finished in Hamden. They'll just be paying in Euros, but we'll be at the Euros. Aye, get it right up here, your shite currency. It's finished in Glasgow. It is finished in Hamden. I've always thought Hamden should be in Edinburgh, by the way. But that's a story for a different video. It's regardless, I, like, we could have played this shower of shite on Mars, right? It is finished Scotland 2. Ireland won. I would go and say revenge is sweet, but I wouldn't call a 2-1, scraping a 2-1 win over a shite Ireland side as revenge. Look, we all know the story. In the summer, they beat us in Dublin 3-0. There's been a lot of bad Scotland results in my lifetime. I would argue losing to Ireland 3-0 is up there. Up there with the Kakistan result. Yeah, definitely. Two three nils against two half of star teams. I mean, if you look at it like that. This Ireland team ain't a good side, so the fact that we lost them 3 0 was bitterly disappointing. We got the result, we got the W tonight, but it wasn't really the performance that I was looking for. And to be fair, the scoreline wasn't what I was looking for either. I was hoping that we would. I was hoping we'd at least beat them by what we lost to them in the summer. I was wanting 3 4 5 nil tonight. It didn't happen. But in the end, you know, we got, we got the win, we got the three points, we stay top of the Nations League. And that is truly what matters, you know. If, if it was a bunch of bad results or a bunch of bad performances in a row, then I'd be a bit more worried. But we were great against Ukraine, you know what I mean? We were, we were fantastic. And then tonight, we weren't, but we still managed to get the victory. And that's a sign of a good team, you know. We, we played good against Ukraine and we got a good scoreline result. You know, we played bad tonight. And we still managed to scrape the victory. So I'm happy with that. You know, it's, it's a good sign. Because in recent years, I think with Scotland, when we played good, we haven't won. And when we played bad, we've lost big time. So the fact that I thought we played bad tonight and, and still got the win is something I don't think we've really seen for Scotland in the past. I, I can't really tell you how many times we've played bad in recent years and not and, and won. Uh, it's hard to think. Yeah, I remember a game 2 0 against San Marino. We were shocking, like, but that's. Well, that's kind of San Marino. Exactly. But more often than not, in, in the past, like, ever since my lifetime, right? If, if we're playing a half deep, if we're playing a side that's not absolute pish, then if we don't play well, we normally don't win. But tonight we did get the win. You could argue that about Ireland, though. They are absolute pish. Well, well, you could. I mean, you could. But, you know, but we got the win tonight. Steve Clark, the Steve Clark gravy train. Gravy continues, and I mean, people need to get off Steve Clark's case, right? I get it, man, right? The, losing to Ukraine in the playoffs was garbage. Losing 3 0 in Dublin was garbage, but surely there's been more positives from the Steve Clark regime, re regime than negatives. And, like, if, if not Steve Clark, then who? We, 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 the Alex McLeish error, I, I never want to go back to. That was. I, honestly, a, a part, I, I would say Steve Clark's the, the best Scotland manager I've seen in my lifetime. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I, the only other time I felt Scotland were on the way to being among the best teams or one of the better teams in Europe was the, the Walter Smith, 2007-2008 kind of, um, that, that era there. Apart from that, I've never really had... It's always been more hope, I think, than faith with Scotland. Don't get me wrong, under Strachan, I thought we played some okay football. But I always felt under Strachan, it was more I was hoping we'd win rather than believing we'd win. Whereas now, under Steve Clark, I genuinely believe that uh, we're good enough to, you know, play Ireland, Ukraine, and we should be winning these games. I feel like we're good enough to qualify for European Championships. I feel like we're good enough to, you know, get out of difficult groups. And I know, I know, as I went over Ireland, as I went over Ukraine, I know I'm not saying we've, you know, we've beat two massive powerhouses, but I think we haven't really, in fairness, we haven't really played any massive powerhouses, so you can't say that we won't be up to the task when we do, but... You're right! Um, if we can avoid defeat against Ukraine and Poland, we will be promoted to Group A, and, and I, I'm looking forward to it, I can't wait till we're actually testing ourselves regularly against... You know some of the better sides in Europe because I think we've I think we're assembling a good national team. I think we're playing good stuff. All right, tonight wasn't a great performance, but I think overall we're playing good football, and I think we can mix it with the best. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thoughts on that? Gets us all the closer to becoming part two team, part one. You know that sort of stuff. All the perks that come with it. 
And exactly. You want to be playing against the best. You don't want. I mean, this this group, man. You've got Armenia, Ireland, and Ukraine. You, like this nation's. Like, we're better. We're better than that. Like, no, we're, it's kind of throw away. Yes, it gets you the playoff spot, right? But it's just much more of a draw if you're going into the international break and you're playing Germany and fucking Portugal. You know what I mean? Compet real competitive games. Not saying these ain't competitive games, but I I just don't want to be. I don't want to be in the same sort of groups as these teams. I want to be, you know, in the upper echelons of uh, of, of the fit pyramid. So uh, yeah, I, I mean, in terms of the game, we, we I don't think we played well. Went into half time one 0 down. Uh, we went into half time losing Kieran Tierney. It wasn't a great opening 45. It really wasn't. Greg Taylor gets his wish. Robertson, Tierney, and Aaron Hickey all injured. He finally gets his make a wish, brother. Imagine Steve Clark shows Dodge over him. Dodge is in the squad. I tell you what, with all these injuries, has Stephen Kingsley got a chance now? You're right. If Stephen Kingsley was ever going to get back into the Scotland team, surely it would be now. I know what, give me the yet. Stephen O'Donnell must be sitting thinking here, I've got a chance. Everybody's got a price. Everyone, anyone could get in, man. Well, the, 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 at the moment, it does look like Tierney and Hickey might not be available. I don't think Tierney's it. For I the Tuesday game. So, I mean, if that is the case, then surely Steve Clark won't be bringing in reinforcements. And I, I would say Stephen O'Donnell and, and Stephen Kingsley would probably be the, the go to guys at. The moment, but second half, he doesn't make any changes and we get rewarded straight away. Ryan Christie has a chance to pass it to Greg Taylor, and I noticed that Ryan Christie pretty much second half never passed it to Greg Taylor. I, I wonder if that's a coincidence or whether it's like an actual. I wonder, is there anything to that? Like, or, or is it just. I think he's, he's played with him long enough at Celtic, he's went, this guy's shite. That's probably about it for Ryan Christie. Of course, Ryan Christie's last season was uh, when Rangers won 55, so Hingy, Hingy's just got bad PTSD from that. No say so? I'd say so, but Ryan Christie, I think he actually played alright. Um, kind of slower about his goal ratio. He doesn't get many goals, but he got an assist and a goal. What a man. Aye, what a man, right. Anyway, he had a chance to pass it to Greg Taylor. He doesn't. He, he floats it into the box, into the path of Jack Henry. The local hero, Joe Hendry. Jack Forget Henry. about him. The national hero, Joe Hendry. Jack Hendry, even. Aye, Jack Hendry. Jackie boy. Jackie Hendry, Jackie boy. Jackie one each. Right, back in it. Level. Um, Craig Gordon pulled off a, a mediocre save. I mean, it was literally one-on-one -on -one here in um, Parrot. My I mean, name, like, Parrot. Hits it straight arm. It was shite. You know, I mean, when another name, like, named after an animal, I don't know. But you look at this Republic of Ireland team, there's just... Where's your Roy Keane? Your Robbie Keane? The brothers? The Keane brothers? Where are they at, Jamie? Because, of course, they're definitely fucking brothers, aren't they? I thought they were. I mean, Matt Dog, hey, right, he's the best player. I think that was pretty evident in this game. Uh, but, yeah, I mean... I think it looks a bit better for Ireland than what it was, like, a couple of years ago or a couple of months ago, maybe, but... They're shite, man. Anyone who thinks Scotland aren't the, the second best nation's delusional, I know. First. I know, I know, but... Maybe. If someone actually decent marriage in England, they'll do better than Scotland. I'm sorry, that's just factual, right? But right now, I actually would say, yeah, I think Scotland would have beat England the other day. I don't know, I think play. I think individually, like, we, we, we're better than England. Right, fuck off. I don't... Uh, give me Gordon over Joe Hart or, or Jordan Pickford. Joe Hart, what year are you fucking living? Jordan in? Pickford, he's pish, right? right? Plays for Everton, shite club. Right. Um, You're gonna lose it. Tierney would go into the left back, one hundred percent, right? Centre backs, Eric Dyer and Maguire. Both shite. Give me, Mc I'm not even lying. Give me McKenna and Suter. All right, well, let's just say you're right. Does that right. mean Scotland's seriously underachieving then? Right, but, well, right back, I, I actually think Aaron Hickey could be better than Tierney and Robertson combined. Well, there you go. And I fucking rate Tierney big time, but I think Aaron Hickey could be better than them. And give him a couple of years, we'll see, right? <laughs> yeah, all right, maybe, maybe we're not, right? But point is, I think we're... I don't think the gap between Scotland and England's that big. People would... People want to lie to you and pretend well, just... Well, right, well if, I, if I'm being truthfully honest, right, and this is truthfully honest, I think we're weak 
in the centre back position, even though I think we have got so much better in recent years. Midfield, I wouldn't say they're like, I mean, yes, they've like Bellio, who's just like, he looks like he's going to be one of a kind, right? And other players. Like, hey, what's he done? He's good for fuck's sake, right? Just because no. you haven't seen him, right? No, what? Oh, what's him? Just because, just because Liverpool went to waste a hundred million on him, he's no, good. No, he's good. No, because I fucking seen him with my own eyes against Rangers. He's the only guy who fucking that Dortmund team was. Good. Ah, he was good. Ah, he was good against so good that Dortmund got smashed two legs against Rangers. That's how fucking good he is. Actually, what? what? Look, see, you're just biased. How am I biased? You're making it as a Bellingham's the, like the you're best. You're the guy that just said uh, Scotland individually are better than England. Big think we're shite and we can't do fuck all. I think we are. We're going. Who, who's who's going to Group A and who's going to Group B, mate? Answer that. Who's in Group A? Who's in Group B? After Tuesday. Was well, London Dykes better than Harry Kane? I'd say so. he's not. A fuck. He, at least he doesn't like Wendy's. Oh, aye. He's got a higher fucking IQ than Harry Kane. Well, but Ryan Fraser's better than Raheem, is he? I think Raheem Sterling's overrated. Aye. aye what about Phil Foden? Like <laughs> Gurulish really all the Irons. Who, who's a better delivery of the ball, Ryan Fraser or Raheem Sterling? I'll give it to Ryan Fraser, sure. He won me my money. England didn't win me money yesterday, so fuck it. No, no, who's got a fatter ass than John McGinn in the England team? I don't know. Who? Who's... Alright, alright, you can't... Who's the better manager? Steve Clark or Gareth Southgate? Steve Clark. Thank you. But, if you think the Scotland team's better, then Steve Clark's been underachieving. I think England's overrated. I think it's because they all play in the Premier League. And on that note... Let's stop talking about England, alright? You were the one that brought them up. And then you're the one that dragged it out. Alright, fair enough. Scotland 2, Ireland 1. I said it was going to be... <sighs> no one gets that, mate. 5-0, I predict that I was wrong. Aye, well, you're, you're wrong big time. Maybe Scotland are underachieving. Right, so penalty. Double handball from... Who was Alan Brown. You can't do this, right? They Alan get... Brown? It's like Bobby Fish. What's his name? What do you want me? I'm not going to lie and... Alan Brown, Columbia, or whatever he was called. Parrot, Egan. What was a goalie called? Keller. What's getting on with this Irish team? Well, next year, you're probably gonna. You probably think the Ireland team individually is better than Scotland. No. I wouldn't even say there's a position where they're close. <laughs> I think Nathan Patterson could be better than fucking uh, Trippier, by the way. But we'll, we'll agree to disagree, right? We'll, we'll agree to disagree. No, but, but if you... I'm not even going to argue anymore. Right. There's so many options going forward compared to us, they're superior. Name them. I mean, name them, man. There's about a fucking million people up front they can go for. Who? Foden, Grealish, Sterling, Kane. Grealish? Tony. He's pish! Sancho, Rashford. He's pish as well. Right, but if they turn up, for fuck's sake. A turn... And then Dykes plays for like twenty first in the championship QPR. The, again, the, again, you're you're just based. Um, that's, that's delusional, man. English players are overhyped, overrated, and overpriced. All right, so there you go. Boom. That is that's what I think of England. And in terms of the penalty, I think it was a penalty. Like I said, Alan Brown. Double fist at hands out, man. Has to get a penalty for that. It is given. Thought the commentary tonight was very biased towards Ireland. I don't know why. Even Michael Stewart. First half, he seemed pro Scotland. Second half, he seemed like a pro Ireland man. I don't know what happened. Maybe he joined the dark side. Maybe he joined the IRA. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, no, overall, I mean, it was just a bad, bad night. But we got the result. We got the 2-1 win. I mean, even Craig Gordon looked dodgy tonight. And that's when you know things aren't quite going your way when the reliable Craig Gordon is, is looking a little bit shaky. But in the end, you know what, man, we won. So I, I have no complaints. Overall, I thought most of our team played poorly. I thought Cal McGregor was dog shit. Um, I mean, McGinn, for like the first 70 minutes, looked shite to me. It was just bad performance after bad performance, and we still done enough to win. So I'm happy with that, guys. More than happy with that. Now we play Ukraine and Poland on Tuesday night. And if we can avoid defeat, we will top this group. We'll get promoted. We'll be in Group A. We'll guarantee ourselves a playoff spot from the Nations League. And everything is looking good. The bad results in the summer are almost forgotten about. And everybody is Steve Clark in. So there you go. That is it. Till next time. Peace.